So I have a couple of students, uh, Joelle, Frank, and Hajer, that would love it if you were to read their blogs. Are they there now? They're here right now, and they're squirming that I'm even saying this. <laughs> but his name is Joel, and then there's Frank, and then there's Hajer. What are the topics? Uh, Joel and Frank are both looking at marijuana. Frank is looking at um, marijuana legalization for hyperactivity disorder, and Joel is looking at it and trying to explore whether or not there are any positive academic effects um, from its usage. Marijuana happens to be a very interesting topic over here in Oakland. Yeah, we noticed. Um, <laughs> see that? I'm just saying. Like five of them. Um, and then uh, Hajar is studying, again, about uh, child marriages in uh, Middle Eastern culture, specifically Yemeni culture. So th there are no names on these at this point? But oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to not it's name Okay, but th that's why we asked for the topic. I wanted to explain. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Go to the school's page. Yeah, the school's page would be great. To Fremont High. But also, oh, yeah, that, that works. That's right. And we're all over that there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you're on youthvoices.net and you go to the schools page, you can find most of the schools that are on the site, not all of them. And she's at Fremont. And she's, and she's at Fremont, and then you can find the students. They have done further posts than this one, by the way. This. Yeah, so can I just say that the most recent posting uh, was their updated senior research thesis. and. And there, we did that so that the teachers here and other community folk, I sent that out to everybody um, and assigned people in the community to the kids. And so that's what their most recent posting is, is them putting their thesis out there so that they can get feedback from their assigned uh, grown-ups, professionals. So you are that community of folk. If you would respond to those postings, that, that would be awesome because they just did that and, and using it to guide the, the final revision of the research thesis, which is due... Uh, by the end of Thanksgiving, great vacation. A couple things worth mentioning. Um, all of this is possible because, not, I mean, it's not the only way it's possible, but it's made a lot easier because Youth Voices is a public, openly networked site, right? Um, we don't, there's, so in, there can be local blocks, but we don't vet everything that goes up. But on the other hand, there are all these teachers who are involved in it who keep track and um, you know, if a if a curse word is used in a response, for example, and the rest of the response is fine, I'll just delete the curse word and you know talk to the student about it. But the whole response is still there, you know. So that right. being able, so been thinking a lot about other networks that can be on. Personally, if I can't administer it, the back end of it, like I can't administer Twitter, I can't. I, right. I'm I'm not so sure I want to use it. So. But that's where I am personally. But okay. so yeah. And all this the teachers the all the teachers on here can administer the site. 